Some teenage geniuses blew us away with their inventions at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, the first two, the top two winners had outstanding inventions that I think would revolutionize things That's why for they us won, Kim. all over the world. No, think about your science fair project, Tim. It probably sucked. It was probably a volcano. Yeah, I'm judging you. I decided to see if plants could grow upside down, which was a stupid idea. Of course they can. <laughs> but I didn't win the Intel International Science Fair. These kids did. Leading with Ionet Budistanu. Uh, Please forgive me if I've mispronounced the name. He's a Romanian teenager who won the Gordon E. Moore Award, first place, $75,000 for inventing a, well, reinventing Google's self-driving car, but cheaper. Uh, Google's has a 3D radar on their self-driving cars, and it's very advanced. It also costs $75,000, which puts it out of most people's price range. Uh, this 19-year-old made a $4,000 version. Well, that's astonishing. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a lot more low res than Google's version. Does it work essentially the same? Um, yeah. It, it detects larger objects like cars and houses and using webcam imagery and artificial intelligence to recognize small objects like curbs, lane markers, soccer balls, children, children. dogs. Yes, children do count as a object. Oh, you want to avoid them yeah, when you're self-driving you don't want to hit them yeah, sure. with your car. But well, we've seen Google's uh, 3D radar before. It's incredibly intricate and de detailed, and they didn't really have to worry about money when they were building it. So, sure, They're why Google. not? Yeah. Sky's the limit. But for the normal consumer, this is a great alternative. And so he turned a like a proof of concept Google self-driving car mm -hmm. into like, hey, we could actually start making these into sort of things. Into this is a viable consumer product now. Yeah. Yes, 19 years old makes you feel unaccomplished. Nice work, Inuit. <laughs> I That's not. probably not how it's pronounced. Um, the second place winner is Isha Carr. Also, I may have mispronounced that. I apologize again. Please forgive me. From Saratoga, California, who built um, a way to charge phones way faster. 20 seconds. Allegedly. That's a game changer. So she won the Intel Foundation Young Scientist Award and $50,000 for her participation. And her objective reads that electrochemical supercapacitors have attracted attention as energy storage devices because they bridge the gap between current alternatives of conventional capacitors and batteries, offering higher energy density than conventional capacitors and higher power density than batteries. Despite these advantages, supercapacitor energy density is much lower than batteries, and increasing energy density remains a key challenge in supercapacitor research. The goal of this work was to design and synthesize a supercapacitor with increased energy density while maintaining power density and long cycle life. So we've seen a huge growth in portable electronics, right? But they're still charging at the same rate, which is really slow, and they're still losing, and expending that energy. Unacceptable, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. So she pretty she did a very complicated process, which pretty much translates to a much improved supercapacitor. Um, and it's it's a device that you she, you could attach inside the phone that would make it charge in exponentially faster. Twenty seconds. That'd be incredible. These uh, these kids are brilliant. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I mean, I, it is kind of interesting that their revolutionary science experiments are so closely related to teenager things like cars and phones. Listen, cars. <laughs> and I just think it's funny. I just think it's funny. Just because we are talking about pizza, cars, and phones today. Um, but they're all things that are incredibly useful in the real world. And I mean, they're, what they've done is incredible. It would have been incredible for an adult researcher or scientist to have done. And I'm just blown away. I'm interested to know, because uh, clearly this is like an ongoing science fair type thing, mm -hmm. what previous year's winners have brought to the table, whether it was something like this huge, like way cheaper technology for self-driving cars and like mm -hmm. way faster technology for charging phones, or whether it was... You know, just well, it could have been more theoretical, I think. For instance, uh, Henry Lynn, a 17-year-old from Louisiana, received the same award, the $50,000, for his project on that simulated thousands of clusters of galaxies. I mean, that is more theoretical, but it's, it's very useful and it's very interesting. 
to and me. scientific. And scientific. Yes, it does, it does count as science. The last story I heard that was like this was about the, the kid who um, developed that uh, technique for testing for pancreatic cancer. Did you read about that? I did. And it was like super cheap and super reliable and he won a lot of money and he saved a lot of lives. He did charge phones. He saved a lot of lives. Well, I mean, it, it's different kinds of technology. Yes, no, it is. And I, I, mean, I don't want to diminish from It can still blow you away. Anyone's. Electronics can still be revolutionary without, you know, saving a life per se. I mean, it's not really comparable. They're, they're both astounding technological advances. Yes, they are. Yes. I, I suspect that her project about charging batteries will have way more applications than his in the future. If she patents it, she will be rich. Do these kids like forfeit patent rights? For I really don't know. I hope not. Because they're I getting a lot of money for these. For I'm assuming that Intel's got a stake in this. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Probably worth up. more than 50 grand. Good job, kids. And you made us feel very stupid and impressed.